Hey there, so welcome back and in the previous lesson we looked at a compute type of a virtual machine which is one of the compute type. Another compute type is Azure App Services. Now just to understand, in order to understand App Service, so earlier the virtual machine which we saw that's part of infrastructure as a service and we looked at IS, PaaS and SaaS in one of the previous lessons. So there we, I said a virtual machine is part of IS whereas App service is a part of platform as a service or pass. And let me explain what uh, what I mean by that. So traditionally, when you need to deploy any application on a server, what you do is you, you get a server, you install operating system on top of that, you install then application server like IIS or web server, something on top of that, and then you deploy your application. Now that means you need to manage multiple things. Now what if Microsoft is going to manage everything? So Microsoft is going to manage your server, operating system, web server or any underlying uh, application server and then runtime as well on top and runtime as I said earlier is maybe could be your Java, .NET, Node.js, PHP, Python, HTML or uh, any container which we'll cover that a little bit later. There's a separate section about container I'll cover that later. So any runtime you do that on top of that you have ready for you or Microsoft will give it to you and all you need to do is create your or host your application on top of that and depending on type of application you could have a function you could have a web app you could have a mobile app you could have an API application you can host any of these applications and Microsoft Azure is going to give you that runtime and the entire platform so that's um, a Azure App Service. So Azure App Service is a HTTP based service to host your web applications, REST APIs or mobile backend service. You can develop uh, in any language of your choice. So developer will give you the application in whatever language of their choice. And then when you create the app service, you say, I want the app service with this particular runtime. So this is a on portal on look like. Let me directly connect to the Azure portal and it show it to you. So this is my Azure portal and I all I need to do is search for web apps or app services. I need to search for app service and click on this app service. And this is where I'll say that create a app service. And this is what I was talking about if you scroll down on here. So first I need to select a resource group before I go any further. So I already have some resource group which I'll select. Now resource group is collection of resources. In this case, web app, is a, web app is a resource. My virtual machine is a resource. My network is a resource. And this is where I be selecting my runtime stack. So is it a .NET? Is it a Java? Is it a Node.js? Is it a PHP, Python, Ruby? I can select any depending on the type of application. So I don't need to worry about server. I don't need to worry about installing any applications on or runtime on top of that. And that's is an example of web app. So that's a second type of compute. Now, third type of compute is a function. So that's type of uh, compute, which is web app. So next type is a function or serverless, which we'll cover in next lesson. Well, this was our Azure Cloud Expert, Mr. Atul from Team K21 Academy. And this clip was taken from our free course for Azure beginners. Even if you're a beginner, this course will give you a holistic overview of Azure Cloud, Azure DevOps, Azure Data, Azure Security, and whatnot. And if you're already working on Azure Cloud, then this course will help you to revise your basic concepts. In order to subscribe to this course, all you have to do is just go to k21academy.com forward slash Azure and subscribe to this course. And within 50 minutes, you'll be getting an email. Under that, you'll be getting your login credentials and our WhatsApp group where you can ask your every doubt related to Azure Cloud. Thank you, and I will see you in the free course.